Good morning, everybody.、Uh, today, I finally decided to carve out some time to finally film my sketchbook for 2021.、Um, a lot had happened in between the years of 2021 and 2023.、Um, it was just too much, and I, I didn't really even think. About doing a sketchbook tour between those months because life was just beating my ass raw. So I finally decided to record this and show you all the stuff that I made in the sketchbook. And I, I do hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys、um, decide to buy the physical sketchbook at $25 on my itch.io. You can get it right now in my description. And yeah. So, get comfortable and settle in as I take you through the journey of my 2021 to 2022 sketchbook.、Uh, but first, I have to put on nail polish because my, I can't believe I was recording this with my crunchy ass nails. <sighs> <laughs> I hope you guys、uh, enjoy what's in here and I hope that I can、um, remember. Why I drew some things in here. There's some weird stuff in here, so、uh, you've been warned. By the way, these are、uh, fun little stickers. These two. This is by Kitsy and this is by Khan. These were both done for the、um, Bill and Ted zine or zine, if you're、uh, picky about that.、Um, yeah, I really, I really love these. I, I've been,、uh, I never really was a person to decorate my sketchbooks, but now I am because I'm like, why didn't I, why haven't I decorated my sketchbooks? Anyway, this o m this one in the back, I love this one. This is John Wick. He's so cute. This is not for design, this is just a, a sticker that my friend gave me, my bestie. I love this so much. Thank you, Star. But. Yeah, I'm also gonna be like lifting this and picking it up because the, the angle and all that, whatever. I, mean, I don't need to explain everything. This sketchbook is from 2021 to 2022. It does not even feel like it's been that long. But when I first opened this, I'm like, oh my god, it has been that long. I don't know. It, it just made me a little crazy knowing that, uh, I, I, that this sketchbook is that old. It just doesn't feel like it's that old. I also run through sketchbooks like it's my job. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, these are,、uh, oops. These are the first few、uh, pages. I think I put ugly book. I think I was trying to train myself to like not think so much when it came to filling in sketchbooks because I, I had a really. What the? Oh. I had a really bad problem. When it came to my sketchbooks、uh, looking a certain way, I really wanted, or just my art in general, I really wanted my art to look really nice. And it would make me insane when my art wouldn't look nice. So I wanted to use this sketchbook as a way to just let go of that. And that, that was like the start of that. Yeah, th these are very nice. I like these pages. This, this is one of my favorite like, little heads, especially with Ted's. I love Ted's. With Ted's head. I think it's very, uh, hold on. Let me just、uh, focus that a little bit. Yeah, very cute. Hopefully it's、uh, focused. Yeah.、Uh, here's this. I think this was this Adam Sandler? No, this was、um, Christian Bale. <laughs> yeah, this is a drawing Christian Bale. And. These are just more、uh, Ted's or Candle characters and Bill. And I, I wanted to. I wanted to see like, if I would be able to paint over it with watercolor. I cannot do that because it bleeds. <laughs> I actually kind of like. I start to kind of like this effect though, at least with the black and white later on in the sketchbook. Because it actually is a cool effect. I don't, I don't think the art is completely ruined if it has water over it. But. Yeah, here's some、uh, Elvira, some ladies. Beautiful ladies. I think this was the 
first sketchbook I could actually put in like my purse because I had a, my last sketchbook was my no the one before my last sketchbook was one that I took with me to jury duty and I realized that I really really enjoy uh, drawing like outside of my house and stuff and like drawing when I'm waiting and stuff so I decided to get a small actual travel sketchbook and this was the first uh, travel sketchbook that I had got and I just had so much fun like this was I was just drawing houses and me and you know I was waiting I think I was waiting almost an hour at the pharmacy and this was all that same day this this page and to this page. So I felt like four pages while I was waiting for my medication. Or uh, my vitamins, really. But yeah, I just had a lot of fun just like drawing drawing people at the pharmacy. This is when everyone wore masks, so it was very easy to draw people. Uh, yeah, I, I like the challenge of trying to draw um, people in a short amount of time. I do think that helps me get better as an artist. I think you do improve when you have to draw something in a very, very short amount of time. What's funny is this is, let me see, this is still this five pages because I see Dinky, I remember drawing this while I was waiting. <laughs> How much longer do <laughs> I was waiting so long. So that's four pages. Is it four or five pages? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five pages. But it was cool because I did all that. I wouldn't have done all that if I had like my phone out and stuff. That is why I, I bring my sketchbook too with me and stuff. Because like I don't like to just scroll through my phone all the time. That's why I bring my headphone. That's why I have an iPod and everything. Like I try to limit my phone time. My phone time when I can when I'm out the house. Uh, I know it sounds I sound like a boomer, but it's important. It's important to not be on your phone. <laughs> For too long. These are okay pages, kind of a dud. I still don't like this uh, page too much. It was supposed to be like a saucy little painting of John Wick, but I just um I just kind of ran out of steam for it, and I ended up not really liking the pose, and I wasn't sure like what direction I wanted to go in with this. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, these are pretty okay too. I like these, these ladies. I'm sure these are references. I don't know what, <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, this, see, this day, uh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, hold on, my phone's shaking. Stop shaking. This was, um, a storm. This was the day of, like, the night of a very, very vicious storm that we had in September. Um, I, 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 this was when I was in class, so I went into the animation class and I just started, you know, I was drawing uh, American Psycho guys. And then, like, suddenly we heard the wind, like, going whoosh, whoosh, like a very, like, Wizard of Oz kind of wind. Very scary. Like, we knew it was gonna rain because I had my raincoat and stuff and everything. We didn't know it was gonna be that bad because we, we've heard of storms, but that was like a storm storm. Like, we got alerts of flooding. So, once we got those alerts, they kind of sent us out. So, I was like kind of like debating if I should wait for the bus. I was waiting for the bus here, and this is when this guy, me and this guy, I don't know what we were talking about. I think we were just like, this weather's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> This is, this was, I like the way I drew myself. <laughs> that was nice. This was, uh, this, this was like a time where like any guy would talk to me and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Stupid 26 year old brain. But he was a nice fellow. Uh, yeah, this was the, the wind. Yeah, the wind was just blowing my fucking umbrella. It was so fucking scary. You can see how scared I was in this drawing. <laughs> I was texting my sister and everything. Like, I just love these series of, of drawings because like this this makes me laugh a lot. There it is. <laughs> but yeah, I actually ended up uh, being stuck at, at campus for a while. I thought I was gonna stay overnight. Some people did stay overnight. I feel like I should have stayed overnight. I don't know why I didn't. I was just like I have to go home and. 
Yeah, I ended up calling my, because the buses were not running, obviously, after. Ubers are not gonna come. I was not gonna, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna call an Uber, because I'm like, I don't wanna fucking have someone die coming up here. It was really bad. It was, like, flooding like crazy. So I called my friend, and he happened to pick me up, and it was very not a good idea, because, like, his car is very old, so... It was just, like, you could feel how old it was, but I, I remember when I got in the car, we he made a turn into like this uh, water ditch or whatever. It was just full of water, and I could feel the car lift and get in the water. And I was like, oh fuck, uh, I guess this is it. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. But uh, he ended up he was able to reverse and get out because we weren't that in it, thank God. But. Yeah, he ended up, we ended up driving home, but it was it was very scary because the car was so old, it was creaky, and it was, it was it was very scary. Never again. Zero out of ten experience. But you know, I got some nice art out of it. So this is me like cleaning. Um, fuck, I keep I keep knocking into this. Uh, this is me just cleaning his uh, kitchen and parts of his house. This is like as a thank you, you know, like thanks for like not getting me killed and saving me. <laughs> but that was. Yeah, it was a very scary time. I, I almost consider almost consider it a near death experience, but I don't know. I always feel like I'm gonna die or some shit. Anyway, here's some nice little uh, figures. It's figures are always a way for me to just uh, draw, get the drawing of the day out, and not think because if I don't draw anything else, I could at least say I drew something. So that's why I like to do a lot of figure drawings. Some Jerome's. Here's <laughs> Jerome shopping. <laughs> I loved drawing him, man. He was just so cute. Like I, I, if you don't know Jerome, Jerome is a well, his real name. He's from a movie called The Watcher, and his name in the movie is David Allen Griffin. But I, I remember like me and my friends were like, that's a stupid name, so we called him Jerome. <laughs> And now, like, that's just Jerome to me now. He's he's just so cute. He's just this big, menacing man. Bill and Ted kissing. Lots of Bill and Ted. I think at this point, like, I was just really into Jerome and, and Bill. So it's Jerome and Bill. You know, they got their... Their problematic, um... Relationship. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's fun. Oh, this is pretty cool, too. This was, uh, when I was, uh... uh I was trying to practice with the gouache because I, I bought Hemi gouaches. And let me tell you, Hemi gouache is kind of trash. Like, uh, it, they're, they all dried up. I had no idea how I was supposed to, like, preserve the, the gouache, but they all dried up and they were just unusable. And I don't know, like, I'm, I'm just not a fan of them. I feel like they the whole Hemi gouache craze was just a paid, one long paid advertisement. Because I really did not, I didn't really like them that much. Now I just use watercolor and white gouache, and that's like fine. It works just as fine as Hemi gouache. You know, like I also didn't like like the color, uh, the colors they had. I guess I don't know. That's not a fan. But I did like how how this came out. This Joanne Jet uh, piece, really, really, or doodle, really nice. And that's kind of how I wanted to use the gouache, like as a, more like a watercolor, but I felt like it was like copping out and me being a coward, so I like tried to force myself to do more with it. <sighs> but yeah, this is a, <laughs> this is Ted and the bunny from the second movie, you know the bunny that tries to like kill him? For some reason I got, I just spiraled into like this obsession with Ted and the bunny. You might see more Ted and the bunny, you know, along the sketchbook. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was like some kind of like a exploration of like Ted's bisexuality. Like maybe the bunny represents an awakening or maybe I'm just a fucking pervert. I don't know. <laughs> but here's a, here's some fu a fun page. I like this page. I like pages where you can tell that I, um, I am comfortable with drawing, like I get more color. Except this, this is this is foul. But for the for this page, for the most part, um, it feels like I'm I'm comfortable. 
And maybe it was the pen. It was a pretty good pen that I was using. Some Debbie Harry's. Man. I thought these looked way better when I first drew them. But I think I've gotten better. You know, I used to think that like when I was looking at the sketchbook and my sketchbook now, I felt like uh, I hadn't improved much. But I actually did. Which is really nice. That's really nice for my ego. I think I got better at um, uh, drawing faces. I guess like um, I tend to. I think during this time I was still very stuck on like specific ways to draw lines on the face and stuff. It's hard to explain, but you get kind of you get used to a certain way you draw. Not really your style. I guess it's your style. Like a certain way you you apply line and stuff. And it gets hard to kind of break out of that and try new things. New things? But, yeah. Timothy Chalamet. Tim Timothy Chalamet was like my muse during this time. Like, I, I was just relentlessly drawing Timothy Chalamet. Some Matrix drawing doodles this is pretty fun this is also like with the Hemi wash I I do really love this um this is probably my favorite uh, painting that I've done with the Hemi gouache like I love the I just love the background I love the way it, it, he pops out from that background it's just really fun this one's okay I think this one's fine um not a fan of the clothes I'm really bad at painting clothes like I admit it and I admit it because I am lazy I'm a lazy painter when it comes to clothes I just don't want to think about it this is not fun like hair is fun hair is fun faces are fun clothes are not fun but yeah very nice very nice shoes I think um I was I must have been working on clom at this moment because I was uh I was starting to draw um high heeled uh disco shoes. I, I forgot what the name is for it. Uh but yeah this is like I mean, you can obviously see like uh, these are dinkies like style shoes that he wears at prom and I really wanted to like just practice drawing it so that when I animated it it wouldn't be um such a pain. But yeah these were all like one minute each I think. I just wanted to get the overall shape of it. this page I really like this page it feels like um I get like vintagey vibes from this like uh especially this part of the of the page it feels like something from 1928 or something I, I don't know what it is I think it's like the way the ink spreads and and like blooms around it feels very classic very old school and I I don't know the more I look at it the more I'm like how did I do that <laughs> I don't know it's really fun I've, I've also started you can see like I started to get like I started to kind of explore my uh, liking to uh, uniforms like I just love like the shape this is what made me fall in love with clothes is just the uniforms and the folds and the pleats and all of that look you see bunny Ted here my perversions <laughs> And yeah, Timothy Chalamet. This is him in that. What was that movie? I don't know that movie. The movie with the the man who loves symmetry. I attempted to draw him. He looked kind of weird, so I drew him again. I think this was the first time, and I drew him again here. And just kind of me giving my own pep talk, like you know, if it turns out bad, you can always just draw it again and not panic about it, because. Yeah, this was like, again, this was, I was still worried about how my art looked and how ugly things came out. <sighs> this is kind of fun. Um, did some studies of like, um, fashion drawings. Because I'm really, because I felt like I, I needed to get better at, um, drawing clothes. And also, I think this was also to practice, uh, 
for Klom, because this is kind of Dinky's like silhouette that he has. Just so it could be easier for me when I did it. And of course, um, <laughs> there's no excuse for this. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I was getting into. I just, I was really getting into like. Um, I think this was when I was getting into uh, pinups and stuff like really cheeky Playboy, vintage Playboy drawing esque stuff. Like, yeah, I love. I still love doing stuff like that. But I was also going through like what I would kept calling was a, a, a brain leak. Um, for some reason, like th drawing was very, very hard around this time. Like, um, it was very hard. Like there were days where uh, most days drawing was hard. I had to like uh, pry it out of my head. Like, I don't know why it was so hard to draw. I, I thought I had brain fog or something, but I'm like, I don't know, because I, I, I didn't get COVID in 2021, so I don't, I, at least I don't think so, but I, I didn't think it was brain fog. I don't know, it was very strange, like, um, yeah, it was very hard to, like, get art out, and it was depressing, but, you know, your boy don't stop, so I... I started to um, do a lot of practice studies from a site called Quick Poses, which they give you such fun little poses. Like they, they have costumes and stuff, some nudies. I prefer the costume ones because they're just fun. Also, like the the models are very much they're all kind of like the same size, so they, they're they're all skinny, and it's like okay, kind of boring. But but at least like the costumes fun <laughs> and all that. I do wish they had more variety in, like, uh, models. I think that's why I said, where's the beef? Because <laughs> I'm like, where's the fucking... Hello? Bunch of skinnies here. My attempt at James Spader failed. But like, you see, like, I was so, like, I could feel how pissed I was scribbling these out. It's like, girl, calm down. Like, you're not going to get it all. But I, 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 I had to like, I don't know, I was obsessed with making the best art in the world, I guess. I think that's why now I'm very much against um, making the best art in the world because I feel like that thought process um, kind of kept me from exploring. But like this is these pages I love a lot. These are again me struggling with gouache, trying my best to like learning to love gouache, or at least the Hemi gouache. And this one I like. This was a direct quote from the movie where he's like on the grave of the of this lady or whatever, and he's like, "She loves me. She's decomposing." Tehe. It was really good. Honestly, I think this uh, whole like line is pretty, uh, as the kids say, fire. Pretty electric. I think it's a good quote. The movie is not great, but you know, I think that's what made me obsessed was that I had moments where I'm like, oh, this movie has potential. I'm obsessed with the potential of a movie. <laughs> and here's Dinky. I was trying to do some uh, practice on painting clothes. I'm just not, again, I'm just not good at clothes. Uh, maybe one day when I want to do it, but as long as I hate it, it's going to be hard to improve. More uh, Jerome's. Oops, Jerome's and Ted. It was what I liked about drawing Jerome and Ted was that they're obviously two completely different people. So it was fun drawing them because like this is these are played by the same actor, but it was really fun drawing them. Like like choosing different lines and different strokes to portray one or the other. Like I feel like Jerome has uh, more of a sharp, some sharper features. Like, uh, just slightly, and Ted is a little more softer and stuff, because, you know, he's a nice boy. But, yeah. Ah, yeah, this was bad. This was a failed gouache attempt at a portrait. I think my issue was that I, uh, I just didn't have patience. And I think throughout the sketchbook, maybe I learned patience? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. It's not so bad now that I look at it, but I, I hated it when I initially saw when I initially finished it I hated it so much I think it's okay now I just think it could use more patience 
these are fun. I this is my favorite. I think this is my favorite page. My favorite drawing of the of this whole page. Like I I really love um just that like it, again it has that like old old school look like that old uh, ink pen and ink look. I really like that. I think that's really fun. Ah yes, uh, knock knock. So, God, where do I begin explaining knock knock? God, putting this to focus is like beating my ass. But knock knock is basically a movie uh, that is a, it's it's nonsense. It's about um just these girls who. Uh, fuck Keanu Reeves and then they like want to kill him or something. I don't know. That's why I liked it because like, <laughs> the premise of it kind of rules. Like, I like, um, I don't know. I like when young women hunt older guys. I think that's fun. But the movie just didn't really deliver. It, it was weird. Some, some things I'm like, uh, some things felt like they just happened for shock value and I'm like, well, that's kind of lame. But I was really in love with like Ana de Armas and Ana de Armas' character in the movie because she was this cute little blonde lady who just like like she like fell in love with Keanu and whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I tried I did a poster uh, like a fake poster for it because I like I was just obsessed with like I was obsessed with like the idea of what it is in my head and I think that's my thing like when a movie is really good I like like it. And that's fine, but when a movie is bad and I feel like it has potential, that's when I become like obsessed with it. I don't know why. Uh, this this is very cute. This is my uh, me and my girlfriend's clown OCs. You already know Dinky, but this is Marchi. And Marchi, um, if you've seen if you've seen Calm, he's the blonde clown in like the first few minutes, where Dinky's like wants to court him into dancing with him. Um, yeah, their whole story is very interesting. They they meet at the same university and they kind of get paired up all the time. And Marchi hates Dinky because Dinky just doesn't take anything seriously at all. And he kind of like just floats by where Marchi is like struggling constantly. <laughs> but he's like, he kind of has, uh, he's, he's like jealous though too because uh, Dinky is kind of everything that Marchi wants to be. And yeah, their relationship their relationship is very um strange. <laughs> but I, I like it a lot. They're they're also in a band together called the Two Man Band. Because no one else wants to join it. But a two man band called um the Ghost Pigs, where Marchi is of course the drummer and Dinky is of course the lead singer and guitarist. But yeah. Very fun, very fun. They they have this whole like uh, very intense relationship with each other I was watching a uh, defunct land <laughs> it was about uh what was it? it was about like the mascots or some shit but I think this looks pretty good still this one's okay well yeah I was I was really starting to like just use this sketchbook to just just make things just draw and not just try not to think too much because I just thought way too much when I drew, and it, I, I really didn't like the idea of like not making something because I was scared to make it. So again, like the sketchbook was me just trying to break out of that like things have to look amazing and beautiful mindset. Uh, yeah, these are like angsty venti drawings. This whole page is like vent. These two pages, this one, uh, Dinky of course. I had to get like a real camera. Yeah, you're thinking. And food. The food is rotting because um I think he's eating the rotting food and he hates it. Because it was kinda sort of like a a, a venti piece to uh I guess try and illustrate literally try and illustrate um what it's like to I guess um eat and then have the food like kind of hurt. <laughs> this is like a this is like an IBS vent piece. <laughs> I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I can't sleep at night. I'm anxious. I'm depressed. The medicine is not working. Well, anyways, whatever. Uh, 
I was, I, these were like, um, color pencil attempts and stuff. This page is okay, it's a little messy. And I think it's because of the color pencils. Um, I'm not a fan of color pencils because it takes too long to build color on it, but I'll use it sometimes. These are really cute. Really like the green. I'm a big fan of green. I think I had realized that I, I don't use green a lot in my uh, sketchbooks or in my just my pieces. So I'm like, let me incorporate green. And the Matrix was like, what was the best way to do it? This is also when the fourth movie came out, which was that movie was okay, but and whatever, who cares? <laughs> I love this Trinity piece though. I think this Trinity, oops. This Trinity piece is really nice. I like the the shadow on her nose. I think that's really, really pleasing to me. And I think it looks like her too, so yay me. Give me some more color. It was fun to introduce color to the sketchbook more. Even though I did a lot of pen. I did so many pen drawings. I think my... <laughs> My regret of this sketchbook probably is that I didn't use enough color. It was a lot of pens because I was just, I think part of me was scared to like ruin anything with color. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> these were drawings of a daredevil, the movie with Ben Affleck. And I, I, I was just trying to draw like every character on screen, like while it, while it was still playing. And I feel like none of them look like any of them, except for possibly this guy and this guy. And maybe Ben Affleck. Like, this kind of looks like Ben Affleck. Um, <laughs> it was really hard, though. But it was- I had a fun. I had so much fun. Like, I feel like I should do that more. Just, just like, put on a movie and just try and draw the- whatever's- whatever I see on screen. Oh, this is nice. I like this page. Some more cheeky, uh, babes in toilet. Babes in- me and our Discord, um, we watched a movie called Babes in Toyland, and Keanu's character, for some reason, like, we all, we just went crazy over him, like, it was like putting a steak in a in right in a pile of, like, rabid dogs, like, we just went fucking insane. I don't know why we did, but it was fun, like, we all drew, like, the horniest art of his character, so, yeah, <laughs> Here's that brain leap again. I like this a lot. The shape of this. This is really cool. But this is, yeah, again, like this is me going through whatever the fuck was going on in my head. Maybe I was more stressed than I remembered, which is hard to imagine because I feel like I am more stressed now than I've ever been in my entire life. But I, I guess I must have been going through something that was like causing, causing me to just um, not be able to draw. I don't know. It felt just like the stuff. I remember how hard it was to make things. And I, I don't I still don't know what exactly it was. Because like you'd think I feel like I, I should have had brain leap like when my father passed, because I feel like that should have been when it was hardest to make art, but I made so much art during that time. Um Yeah, here's Benicio del Toro. <laughs> del Toro. He um he always comes so easy to me. I don't fucking know why. This doesn't look exactly like him, but it, it kind of captures him a little bit. Um, I don't know why. He always comes the easiest to me. I draw him and I am at peace. I don't know exactly what it is, <laughs> but yeah, I like this one. This little drawing of Keanu. That's cute. Looks like this lady's billowing uh, outfit. Now there he is, babes in toilet. Yeah, we were, uh, this, this didn't come out good though. We were going fucking crazy. It was fun though. I, I had a great time. These were, uh, Pinterest drawings here. They're pretty okay. I mostly, uh, just colored them because I wanted to seal in the graphite. I like drawing with pencil, but it just, ugh, it just gets so messy. Like, this page was kind of like me being like, let me just draw with pencil so I can just erase my problems. Big mistake, because this is so fucking messy, man. I, I have no fixatives or anything. 
So I just I just get stuck with these dirty ass pages and it just makes me so mad. Cause there's such there's like nice pieces in here, but they just get ruined. Like I love this one. I love Dinky and his cat, um Mr. Beanstalk. I love um I love Jerome here. I think it's a really good hold on. Oh, I always have to focus this shit. I like Jerome. Here, he looks very cute. Like I like a lot of these. I like I like this lady over here. Cause I know there's fixatives, but I know fixatives can some like f sometimes fuck with your like pages as well. You make it yellow or something. I don't know. That's what I heard. Yes, this was uh, me trying to just kind of give in to color pencils. I didn't like it. I'm like, this shit takes way too fucking long. I'm bored. <laughs> But I, I did come come up with some pretty nice uh, uh, drawings here. I just didn't. I I felt like it just wasn't worth all the time it took to make it. Like a, it's okay, you know, like it's fine. These are pretty cute. These are also cheap. I think these are like Crayola. It's a Crayola color pencil, so that's probably why it looks like like it took so long too, because I know other color pencils are less waxy, you know. But you know, oh, uh, this this I like. I like this page. I always like when I do um like full body, like uh, yeah, just full body pieces like this. It's just I don't know something about it's very just pleasing to me. There's Neil, <laughs> my cat. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I think he was just sitting or something. Oh yeah, I think I just realized this is the mouse. Yeah, I think he's holding his mouse. His mouse is named Luke Perry. So we have Mr. Beanstalk and his- Oh, he's right here too! <laughs> I didn't notice that he was right there too. Oh, this nasty ass rat. I like this, this outfit on him though. Oh. Uh, yeah, these were- yeah, just lady practices, practicing little ladies. Me? It doesn't look like me. It doesn't look like me at all, but it's fine. I think I got better at drawing myself later on. Oh, this was after I saw um, The Matrix. Um, yeah, the movie was okay. The fourth movie, didn't really love it, but it was just nice to see Keanu. <laughs> Honestly, this page is fun though. It's a fun little, uh, fun little just a nonsense page. I think this was when it started to hit me that I can do whatever I want in a sketchbook. I think it would. This was when I decided to start um, experimenting a little bit with colors and like not letting smudges and stuff like turn me off and kind of like embracing that embracing the mistakes and stuff this is neo and morpheus at the club by the way uh you remember that that comic whatever <laughs> yes this this page is pretty nice too very cute I think I was uh, practicing colors and all that with watercolors. I think I had given up on the gouache. I was just like, I just don't like the gouache. I say this and then it's back to gouache right in the next page. <laughs> this was a fun page. I'm a big fan of this page. I think this one is just... Something about it feels dreamlike. And yeah, I just really like it. I'm in love with it. I still like it a lot. These pages are pretty nice too. Again, me, I was trying to practice like clothes and, and wrinkles and all that. And I just did it. I tried not to be too hard on myself because I knew I was just practicing and whatever. God, this video's 40 minutes, huh? Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, uh, <laughs> more drawings. Me with my Space Ghost shirt that I lost. I don't have that shirt anymore. I'm pissed. Like I didn't meet the artist, which was my legs were candy and this likes tummy aches. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is a practice pages. 
Sometimes you gotta practice. But again, I was, I think I was starting to understand my purpose <laughs> as an artist or whatever. And you can, I love that, like, it, like in the beginning, like, I feel like my work was a bit tighter and, and cleaner. As, <laughs> in my standards, cleaner. And it, you can see me, it just gets messier and messier. And I like that a lot. I love that you can see where I just stopped giving a shit. And I feel like my art improves, improved so quickly after that. Like these are these are Pam Greer drawings, and I feel like some some of it doesn't look like her. These don't look like her too much. This I feel like looks like her. I feel like this is very Pam Greer. And these these I feel like looked a lot like Nancy from uh, The Craft. Just really fun. Like I really liked how my work looked when I when I let loose more. Like this, this, I love this girl. This little punk rocker. She's so cute. I think this is a reference. I don't know what. So like, I know I can tell when I reference something and when I just shoot it out my ass. What? <laughs> this is fun. This is, um, again, this is my, me and my girlfriend's OCs, the Ghost Pigs, their band name. This is like supposed to be like a, a cover. Like if they if the the college had a some sort of cover i mean this car if the college had um some sort of magazine it would be this and then they get featured on it strike a chord with ghost pigs jester's university i mean jester's yeah jester's university weekly and i i just love this i love how um yeah, yeah here we go fucking focusing i love how i don't know i just love the way it built up. I love the the dirtiness of it. I love Dinky's face. I love Margie's face. I love the lines, like the thick outlines. That's very fun too. Because usually when I work with uh, watercolor, like the last thing I want to do is rely on the pen. But sometimes it looks good with the pen. I think this looks really good, like a nice light wash with a pen. Very nice. There's Professor Bozo. He says. No more hookups in the gym because the clowns keep fucking each other and it's disgusting. All right. <laughs> Here's um the color pencils are really fun here because I just kind of just I started to just draw with the pen and then use color pencil and I think that looks way better than me just attempting to like build up something with color pencils like I know what I'm doing, but this is a lot better. I love how these. This is still my favorite Dinky, like of all time. He's just, I don't know, very dreamy. Like I like this Dinky a lot. This is my baby. I love you, even though you're punished right now. But I like these little. I don't know what these are. These like Dinkies with the stars in his eyes. I think it was just it was just fun to draw. These were Doja Cats before Doja Cat went uh, down the fucking drain. Um, this I love, I love this. You can tell I loved this picture a lot of Pam Greer because I drew this twice. I drew it here and then I did a speed paint on it. But, this, I love this page because it feels, see this page I feel like feels old school but like 1960s kind of like black and white print. Not as old as like the earlier stuff I did. I don't know if I could find it in time. No. Uh, not as old as like something like this. This feels like older for some reason. I can't put my finger on it. I guess because the other one looks like an ink, like a drip ink, and this one looks like a tighter ink, I guess. But I was really into like just coloring, kind of doing like a dark, darker value, and then leaving the white in the background alone. And I just feel like it just it just looks so nice. It looks so juicy, you know. Yeah, I like these. These are cute. I love Ted. Ted is so cute. I do miss drawing Ted sometimes. This page this is a fun little page too. Just me again, like just having fun with that uh, dark, dark wash. I don't know. It looks very professional to me, but it's not really. Uh, more Debbie Harry's. I think I've gotten a little bit better at capturing her face a little bit. This one I like a lot. This is a good Debbie Harry. Mm -mm -mm. Mm 
more Davieris. <laughs> yeah, this is the another this is another page of her. Oh. I've wrote written some things. Your nose to guide Oh, I was trying to teach myself to draw kisses because I'm really bad at drawing kisses. So I'm like, what if I used the nose to guide the kiss? Maybe maybe that's the key. And I don't know if it helped, <laughs> but I did draw this, and this came out pretty nice, so... I put, fuck it, sometimes I don't want to draw fingers. <laughs> so truly. Really cute. Really, really nice bright colors. I was, uh, once again, just, just my final attempts at the Himi gouaches. <laughs> it's like, I kind of started to understand them, but I think I realized I'm like, I didn't really like using them that much. This was pretty funny. Me and my most esteemed colleague want to say something. Silence from the crowd. <gasps> A gasp. Shriek. They're making out nasty style on stage. I think this is good. Is this evil? I don't know. One of these were evil Bill and Ted. One of these were good Bill and Ted. I don't remember. Uh, ah, here's, yes. Here I can feel it. I can really feel the the art becoming looser so i put a who cares that was directed to me because i was feeling a certain way because my art wasn't looking good and i was just like hey who gives a shit and yeah in the end of the, at the end of the day who gives a shit how good your art looks in your sketchbook especially i feel like in general but in your sketchbook especially i think you know, when we see sketchbooks, there's people who have like very professional, very clean style sketchbooks. And I think that makes us think our sketchbooks have to look that way, but it doesn't. A lot of the time sketchbooks, well for the most part, sketchbooks were made for just the artists. Then I swear to God, I blame CalArts with that whole, we're gonna grade your sketchbooks. How about you fucking choke on it? You deserve it. I hope you fucking die. All right, anyways, here's some... I love these, this page. This is a fun page. This is me and Neil. And it says, Little loud cat, what do you want from me? Because Neil fucking loves to scream sometimes. He was... This was... This was when Neil was not fully um, domesticated yet. I think this was the first few months that we were making him into a fully inside cat. Because Neil was an inside-outside cat. And I'm like, I don't want him to die and get hit by a car, so I'm just, we're just gonna take him in. And boy, was that the hardest decision of our lives. Because he, for six months, he would just scream at the top of his lungs. And from like, he would start at 3 a.m. and then just never stop until 7 a.m. And it was really hard. It was so hard. <laughs> but he's he's good now. He'll scream sometimes, but it is nowhere near the fucking difficulty that it was when we first took him in. Proud to say he's a full indoor cat now. So, yeah. This is more of. Uh, Knock knock art, they're taking Evan a bath. I like this a lot still. It's really cute. You're like, oh you're stinky. PU, they're embarrassing. <laughs> I I'm not afraid to say it. I like humiliation. I think it's cute. I think it's <laughs> I love this. I should like re revisit this somehow. I think it's really fun. Oh, me being angsty. This was fun. Just like the the bloom effect on it, this was really fun. But I, I was being fucking, I was being gay. But yeah, those are all C's pining after each other. Some more drawings, some practices. But you can you can kind of see like how different my art starts to look here. And uh, again, like I didn't think my art had changed that much throughout 2021 and now, but it really has. Like I feel like um, there's just there's this um, there's this rock and rollness to it now, or like a grit to it of like it's gonna look like what it's gonna look like. Like this, I love this. These were just drawings of like um, these were drawings of hockey 
hockey ladies? I don't know. They're like the ladies that like clean up the hockey floor. And they wear these really cute, I love the silhouettes of them. They wear these really cute like um, leggings and stuff so they don't get cold. Um, <laughs> here's, I tried drawing Ted in the outfit. And then there's uh, the fantasy football ladies. This was fun to draw too. I should draw these again. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, um, it's a little demeaning, uh, the fantasy football, but the outfits are so cute, you know? They're just so cute. I can't resist. This is another page I like a lot. My Willem Dafoe drawings. <laughs> I don't know if it looks like him, but I think it gets his, uh, his essence. Will ahem. They're thinking about she facing each other in the bathroom that they always have to fucking share. And these, oh, this is my friend. I was trying my, I was having a voice chat with my friend. That was that was pretty nice. Just got to draw her a bit. And there she is again. These were kind of, they were just nice, nice and loose. These I liked. Um, I was obviously studying Lay and Decker, you can see it in, in this. I like this little kiki. Cute. Cute. I'd just be writing anything, like shut the fuck up. Why is he saying that? I feel like that's so out of Dinky's <laughs> character to say that. But it looks like it's coming from the phone, so if, any, if someone's telling him to shut the fuck up, that makes more sense. Uh, yeah, these, I love these. These were all references. Pose references. I mean, I'm starting. I'm starting to embrace that like um, ink spreading, and and this is this is really nice. Just this. I don't even know how that happened, but there's like this fun little like highlighting effect, or or what's that word? It looks like a subsurface effect that happens. It wasn't on purpose. Either. It just happens, and I'm like, wow, that's so cool. I really like that. Here's some light. See, this pen, I bought the pen that you can paint over. And yeah, look how cool it is. You can just draw and then paint over it. I think that's really cool. These are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this page too. I really start to like a lot of my stuff, like at the very end of the sketchbook. It's just so cool. Like I, I don't know. I just like I like seeing. I, I like seeing where I start to um, let go of that perfectionist uh, mentality that I used to have. It's still there sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> this is like one of my favorite pages too. I, I just love. It. I love all the pages where it's just ink and and ink and wash which is basically what it looks like like an ink and wash i love that this is me me and some overalls i really like that one i like to do like a fashion-esque kind of drawing i think this was a reference this is also this is a reference i think i just pulled this lady out of my ass but <laughs> this is just really fun you know just fun it's it's fun to draw and maybe here is when i'm like Actually, I like drawing. Drawing is fun. Like even like moments where like I drew bad, it was like, it was kind of like that's okay. We'll draw something else. Like this looks bad, but I love this. I love this simple like drawing. It's just really fun. Really fun stuff. Oh yeah, I, I'm like oh I just felt so nice, and then here is this. This is how I felt about um my sketchbook where i felt i felt like uh the last few pages i guess just weren't as they weren't as enticing as i thought they would be or as good and it's so funny because i'm looking back and i'm like these are nice this is a nice like final few pages where i put you blew it because i'm like well i kind of did blew it man my art is really bad and i spent i, I didn't make enough beautiful pieces i didn't i didn't push myself enough but what i didn't know was that i did make beautiful pieces and i made ugly pieces and i did improve a lot it's crazy how you don't see it in real time when you look back you're like oh my god i did improve 
And these were the last pages. And these, I feel like, um, are, like, out of all the sketchbooks I've done, yes, they're like, this is like one of the, well, one of the more lackluster pages, I guess. But I kind of have to just remind myself, like, this is a sketchbook. It, the whole thing should be lackluster. <laughs> But it was not like Luster. I think, I, even looking back at this whole page, I think this is very nice. Like, I like the Pam Greer painting. That's why I pulled out the gouache, because I'm like, well, I'm going to pull out the gouache in the last page. And it turned out okay. That's why I forgot how to draw the midsection again. I always fucking struggle with that. But I love this, like, shape of Dinky. Like, this is really nice. Well, yeah, that's, that's the whole sketchbook, man. It's crazy to see um, how much I've improved because I truly did not feel like I had any significant <laughs> improvement at all from like 2021 to now. But looking back, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I definitely have a better grasp at things now. And I feel like I have a level of confidence that I had not had at all. Like, um... I just feel like now I kind of, um, I kind of easily just accept things when they don't go my way in my art, at least in my sketchbook. That's like, I know, I now know that that's a space for me to just experiment and try things that I'm too scared of and all that. And if, if I don't want to show anyone that, I don't have to, but I don't mind showing you guys because I think it's important to show you how many ugly things I've made. And I do feel like this this sketchbook isn't the ugliest, honestly. My next sketchbook that I will be recording soon uh, is very ugly. <laughs> but uh, I also like it. It's just... I don't know, sketchbooks to me are feeling uh, a little more like a diary and stuff rather than like where I have to make beautiful, elaborate, or meaningful pieces. Like, it's whatever. Um, yeah, so that that's all for this sketchbook. I hope you guys um, enjoyed that. I, I'm sorry that I yapped for so long. I can talk a lot. I am someone who goes off on 50 tangents. Sorry about that. But, um, I enjoyed telling you about, you know, my sketchbooks. It's, it's fun to just look back and be like, oh yeah, I remember when that happened, or I remember when I drew that. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry it took so long again. Um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it, enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, so I'd, I'd like to thank my lovely patrons. You guys just fucking... I love you guys. So thank you to Star, KMM, Mito Pancake, Mandy, McMarthy, Fred by Dawn, Beto, Ragna, Khan, Lyle Meg, Alley Paperbag, Snooka Snurk, Bromibs, FedEx Candy, Mossman, Worthy Kids, Neothalamus, Clown Snot, May, Scoan Stotus, Lunchworms, Sneeze, <laughs> Ren Renee Oma, Jaws, Melody, Annie, Isle of Lines, Example 88 Text, Example Text 88, Neil Anderson, Inga, Essie Lynx, EP, Smart Alec, Moss, Shiggy, Craig, Clown Emojis, Grayson, Indy, Halo, Catherine, Cat, Kettle Pop Black, April Ray, Kennedy B, Maria, Faith, Wizard Fancier, Grinder 404, Kip, Al Green, Marine, and L. Thank you so much for your support. It always means so much to me. I know I say this all the time, but it does. It does. Um, I, I do hope that you guys will continue to support me or hope that more people will support me. I do a lot of shit on Patreon. I'm constantly posting updates or art or things that I'm working on that I haven't showed the public yet. So if you're interested in that, please feel free to join. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to reach this 250 goal. So if I hit $250 a month, I will make a a tutorial on how I stylize faces. Trust me, you have my word. But until then, I'm just goofing off. So <laughs> thank you again for watching and thank you for your support. And I hope you will choose to support me or at least buy my sketchbook on Itchio. But yeah, 
Thank you. See you.